I went down to Kelso, I bought some new cows and they are landing today. Jesus. It's a very bad idea. <gasps> Drawers in there and a wee lean too. I'm gonna pull it out and shove it onto the trailer. Nice and gentle, of course. This is gonna work very smoothly. Gate lady is in the hot seat. I feel like she's got the handbrake on though. Or she's she's definitely in a gear. Come out of gear, please. Neutral! Yep. I'll turn off the lights so she can see where she's steering. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, she could do a starting to turn. <laughs> where is she going? It must have been me in the wrong. Come on, steady does it. Oh, there's a fence post. That'll do. Wish me luck. Can I see? Oh, this is a very bad idea. <gasps> Ooh. I'm a literal genius. <laughs> the scope of my engineering genius literally knows no bounds. You gained quite a lot of speed there. You gained quite a lot of speed there. Just like that, on she goes. Looks a beauty. Good morning. Think we'll get that going today. Maybe. Anyway, got to unload some fat at yard three. Yard three bound. We're here. Trailer unloaded. Kev's just putting that tractor back in. We've managed to squeeze in a bit of space there, so hopefully, fingers crossed, within a few days or next week, we'll get into that and start using it. 16th of February today, so today's the first day we're allowed legally to spread it, but there's no chance. It's just sodden. If we had three dry days, we'd get travelling, but rain forecast on Saturday, dry Sunday, rain Monday. Rain Tuesday. I don't know when we're going to get one, but anyway, it'll come. Kev's off to yard one. There's a feed barley lorry on the way. It shouldn't be far away. Roll out, roll out. I'm expecting some new cows to arrive at yard two in an hour. The Wednesday, it's fine today, Wednesday, and way down to Kelso to see some, and I bought 12. So they are landing very soon. Before the lorry comes, I have a calf to feed and some bullocks and heifers to feed. Right, you had two bounds. Right, two. Hopefully not too many pets. Fun's plenty. Betty, starting to drink a bit better now, so... Stop walking backwards. Probably about one and a quarter litres. You do well to get much more than that into. Yeah, that's that's still a litre left in there, and I probably put two and a quarter up there. Well, he's got a full belly full, so it's a small calf. Cows are T minus thirty minutes away. New cows. To run you through it, Chris Jenkins, who works for Bateman, who supplied all these gates and internals, he contacted me saying he's got a pal who's needing to shift some cows. He just, someone had retired, he'd taken over the whole herd, selling bits and bobs of them and keeping a few himself. So I went down and had a look at them, picked out kind of 12 I liked. I was looking for 10 to 15. They were all decent cows. All of them, bar one, are five-year-old. They're going to join into this pen and that will make that a pen of 20... Seven. Mm. 
other than opening that gate there, I'm good to go. Come on, dog. Cup of tea, and then we'll see these new cows come. The boss man's not seen them, so I'm hoping they go down well, and I haven't bought a load of rubbish cows. What's your peacetime drink? Tea or coffee? I'm a tea man. A scone and tea at half past three makes your day a little brighter. Take your cakes and fancy tarts and stick them up your... I think my dog's been at the milk powder. <sighs> you as well? Have you as well? Black Labs and food can't be trusted. Yep, someone's had their nose in there and it looks like you. Sit. Good boy. Sit. Good boy, Baxter. You're a good boy. Oh, you've got it on your chops as well. <sighs> Torax. Slight change of plan. I'm going to shift those cows out of there because the cows that are coming are starting calving a wee bit later than what's behind me and what's behind me I need to drag with a Bovigen scour and there's no point in mixing them all up and then having to segregate them again to drag just individual ones so I'll swing them out into the handling system Right, that's all the cows around here now. New cows should literally just be two minutes away. Now I've got an empty pen for them to run into. Let's shut this. There's a the lorry. AR transport. Inbound. Hi. Smashing passports. 12 new cows. So, that's them all in now. There's 12 of them. Due end of March onwards. I'm fairly happy with them. Come on, beast. Whee. All semi-crosses apart from one Angus cross. Get you a look at them. Seems settled enough. And just like that. We're up to 82 cows. The cows I took out this pen that we bought at Thainston a couple of weeks ago. They were 2,500, just over that average. Slightly younger. I would say the ones through there that I've just taken out this pen that we bought at Thainston two weeks ago. Probably slightly better cows. They're probably a bit bigger, slightly bigger, but they averaged 650 quid more per beast. So I'm pretty happy with them. Buy three of these, get one of them free. See how they get on anyway. Where they were coming from, said they had a pretty heavy cull policy. Anything wild or troublesome that was gone. They all seem quite settled. There's nothing looking too twitchy. Fingers crossed they do well for us. I would say she's probably one of the best of the bunch. Job done. Hey beasties. Ovigen for these cows now. Right, we're good to go. These cows are all getting a three mil dose of Ovigen scour. That stuff. It's for rotavirus, E. coli, bits and bobs, and it's for the calf. It's not for the cows. So the cows take it on, and then it goes into the colostrum that they produce for the calves, and the calves drink it and become immune to these things. It's a consistent dose. It's not based on weight, so I'm not bothering using the weighing system in the crush here. First cow in. 
good old school. I've got my toes in guy. One down. Get some sunshine. Give you her view. This is her view. Sun's in your eyes. Is that the problem? Flipping cow, man. Job done. There we go, that's them all mixed in together now. So anything with a management tag with a big R and a number or there's one with a P and a number, they're the new lot. The existing lot are all the rest. So the likes of that one's existing, that one's existing, that one's existing. New, 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 new. So there's actually not too much between them, to be honest. But all in all, I'm happy. Let me know what you think. I think I bought some decent cows. Job done, dog. Job done. Nothing else is looking like calving, so I can nip along the road down to yard one and get some other jobs done. Just need to sort out these passports as well. I love this machine. Let's get it up and running again. Let's go. Also, Bandit Beer news hopefully coming soon. If I pull my finger out. Some significant changes happening to Bandit Beer. Kev's been welding up the legs here on the Simba on the shallow tines, they were well worn. He's put big beefy plates on those two that were really worn and then this one he's just welded up with a few lines of weld so that's them ready for action come sewing time. Right, need to get these passports sorted out. Right, labels. So this label has, go on a phone I'll show you. So these labels have address or a holding number barcode that I guess will give you that information if you scan it. And then what I need to do is put a date of on movement, so when they landed on our farm, which is today, the 16th of February, and then sign it. And then the label goes in there. It's like when you go on holiday and they stamp your passport. Same as that. Not going to show you my signature. Date on 16th. This sale's going through United Auctions, so they'll do all the movements for us. On the computer, they will automatically be registered to our farm as of today, so I don't need to register them online. Castration time. My good pal Faraz, you might have seen him in a tractor uh, two harvests ago. Something like that, he was doing some dodgy tractor driving, now he's doing some dodgy castration. <laughs> it's quite big this one. Big lad. Big lad. Big lad. Is this quite sobering doing this? It's fairly shift, very sobering. <laughs> I managed to avoid not doing my own nuts, which is a bonus. Right pal, on your nuts. You got them? Yep. Let me just check, hold on. Yep, you're good. Yep. There you That's go. it, smashing. Ah, no nuts for the big man. Bull becomes bullet. Right, one more to do and then we're job done. Good job. You don't quite fit in my boiler shit. It's a wee bit short. <laughs> that is a hole in it as well. <laughs> Safety's on. I put it on, yeah. So it won't fire? Yeah. Right, okay. So then you'd, you'd release the safety and you'd say pull. Pull. And then just let it rip. Safety can't be off. There you go. Pull. Jesus. <laughs> right, it's still got, still got our cartridge in it, so just be safe with it. Is that safety off? Yeah, right, now on. you open it. Huh? Now open it. And it'll come flying out. There you go. Pull.
let's set off some some clays for you so i'll just fire one for you and it'll be going it'll be going slightly right to left so you'll be aiming slightly ahead of it swing your gun through and when your gun's just ahead of it pull the trigger where do you reckon you are you ready yep cool. hey beauty open it up right it, eh? I thought you said pull. I said pull. Alright, say it again. Yeah, pull. Hang <laughs> on. Uh, my uncle Arm's doing gel to tail. Yeah, it's a broken one, mate. Right? Try it anyway. I don't think it'll fly very well. Maybe, what, three or four out of like nine, ten for myself? Aye, not bad. Good not start. bad.